how to add bennies or F1s onto any car in GTA 5 online. Let's get straight into the glitch. Requirements is you guys will need a friend. You guys will need to have a donor car, which is inside the LS Kami. You guys will need to sign up as an MC club president before starting this glitch. Preferably to do this glitch in free aim, because most people play in aim assisted. You guys will need a yacht, a Kokoska with a sparrow. And I think that's about it. I don't think I messed up anything else. Anyways, once you guys are now inside the LS Kami, you are going to tell your friend um, to send you an invite to the sprint. And now you're just going to join it up. To start up a sprint, you must have the LS Kami membership purchase, which is like 50000 But I'm pretty sure most of you guys probably already have it purchased. Also, guys, later in today's video, I have posted this video before. But I'm basically going to be showing you guys how to make sure the captain answers. Because you guys will see around six minutes straight into this video... I couldn't, the captain wasn't answering, and then he eventually answered, which most likely all of you guys are probably having issues with, because all I see in my comment sections is, oh, the, the captain's never going to answer, the glitch is fake. Even though in this video, the captain wouldn't answer for me for around five to six minutes, and then he eventually answered. And also with this glitch as well, I'm going to be showing you guys a brand new method to merge the cars. So instead of doing respawn, we're going to be doing the uh, Ewe method. So right now, you guys want to take the easy way out, which is as normal. I showed that in my last video. But usually, we would go to the war breach, all right? But instead of instead of going to the war breach, we're going to be going to the gas pump. And I know you're going to be like, the gas pump, what do you mean by that? You guys will find out exactly what I'm going to do. If you guys don't want to spend hours grinding out glitches, be sure to check out the instant delivery modern accounts from MitchCactus.com, which is available for Xbox, PlayStation and PC that come with between $50 million to $1 billion as well as RP level 100 and more. They also offer account boost, meaning that an existing account of yours can have money and RP added. These guys have over 4,500 plus reviews on their official Trustpilot page and by far are the most highly reputable modders. There will be a link in the pinned comment guys and you guys can use the discount code JUNA for 5% off. And in today's video, I'm actually going to explain everything in the best detail possible and to make sure you guys don't get confused. And I'm telling you right now, no one will be confused after this video. Okay, what you guys want to do is align your car with the gas pump. All right, so right now, I'm going to make my way to the gas pump and align my car with this so that if I drive forward, I directly crash into it. Now, what I'm going to do is, is join someone in a different targeting mode and accept the first alert and decline the second. That's all I'm going to do first of all. I'm going to just make sure that the alert comes up so, you know, it comes up quicker. So watch this. Um, any second now, I should join someone and I'm going to accept the first alert, decline the second. Nothing hard at all. So right now, wait for it. Wait for the alert. X, circle. Now, I'm going to join him again. But this time, I'm going to count how long it takes for it to pop up. So as you guys can see, I click join and I'm looking at the bottom right hand corner. Oh, how long did it take for the getting Gino Land session details to pop up? And from all the maths that I just did, it took around 12 to 13 seconds. Now what I'm going to do this time is now I'm going to join the person that's in a different targeting mode. And as soon as it reaches 10 seconds, I'm going to crash into the gas pump. So right now, 10 seconds passed. I crash into the gas pump and boom, I decline all the alerts perfectly. And now I open up my interaction menu. Call out the Mark II. Hit a first try because all it is about is timing and finding how long it takes for the alert to pop up. And just like that, first try, no cuts. Now I call out my Sparrow. I wait for the Sparrow to start flashing. The Sparrow now starts flashing. I run into the wall and my character falls upside down just like this. Three, two, one. Once I'm dead, I'm going to be on an infinite black loading screen. Join someone in a different targeting mode. Accept the first alert, decline the second. Watch this. Ready? Three, two, one. If you're on old gen, go to online, criminal enterprise starter pack, go to the banshee, click triangle, back out. If you're on new gen, go to GTA plus, back out. It works on all consoles. From here, you're going to hop inside of your sparrow. And right now, I'm clearly showing you guys proof that the captain isn't picking up, which is what is which is the issue that everyone's been having. Everyone's been commenting on my videos saying, hey, bro, the captain isn't picking up. This is fake. Well, I'm going to show you guys how to actually fix this. So what you guys are going to do is, is keep spam and calling the captain. If he doesn't answer, that's fine. The sweet spot that a lot of people recommend 
Is the Maze Bank West Tower? Shout out to Juice 759. So once again, if he's not picking up, these are all the best times to call him. You call the captain when your screen stops flashing black. You call him um, near the Maze Bank West or your yacht. Or you call him in the area nearby your yacht. Okay? So that's actually what I found out, um, in today. Like, for some reason, the captain wasn't picking up. You guys can clearly see the footage is sped up. Constantly calling him. Constantly calling him. Nothing is happening. All right? But this is what's going to happen. Um, after two minutes, you should eventually respawn back at the um, other spot, right? Also, guys, once you respawn with the helicopter, you just want to go return personal vehicle to storage. Once again, guys, like I said, your helicopter should spawn back at the place that we killed ourselves, but the footage was sped up, so that's why you didn't get to see it. But when you spawn back there, you return personal vehicle to storage, all right? Anyways, I mean, as you guys can see, the captain wasn't answering, but look, I go near my yacht at this little dock's place, three, two, one. Oh crap, the captain finally answers. It's still in the same session. There's no cut. All I've done was sped up the gameplay. From here, make my way to my yacht. After I make my way to my, um, make my way to the yacht, as you guys can see, the request personal vehicle is grayed out. All you have to do is just go up, down, and then it will, it will give you the feature. Ready? Watch it. Still gray, still gray, still gray. Three, two, one, up, and down. There you go. Now you want to call out any car you want to merge. And just like that, um, when you call out the car, hold down triangle, and then after you guys spawn in the vehicle, uh, merge, tell your friend to leave the sprint, go LS Customs, and merge it again. This is now probably going to officially be the last video I ever make on this car to car merge because this is the third time I made a video on this. And I think I've covered up all the points now I need to. So I don't think I have to make anyone because I've showed proof now that this glitch obviously works three different times. You can go to my all my last videos and you guys can clearly see for the purpose of this video, I legit purposely moved my yacht into a whole new location just to show you that it's a whole new location, meaning it's a whole new recording and it's a different car. So subscribe like and i'll see you guys in my next video if you have any questions let me know peace out